Hey, welcome to another great episode here at the Pastor's Pantry Cooking School. I'm your host, Chef Sam Peters. Good to have you with us. We're doing a Chinese donut today, a little dessert menu for you. Before I get started with that, let me share with you the gospel of good taste. These are the things that Joyce and I are most passionate about. The first thing we are passionate about is that we believe everything's about stewardship, that every good and perfect gift is given to us by God. James 1.17 tells us that. And food is a gift. And so we want to try to teach you some things about food today that will enhance your dining room table and help you make every dining experience great. The recipes we're going to share with you today are out on our website, patterfamsauces.com, and you can get all of them right there. The second thing we're passionate about is we believe God created us to be in community with one another. We are social beings, and social, we believe, has more to do with gathering people around a table, sharing food with them, and building relationships. We believe that because Jesus believed that. He was constantly sitting down and eating with people. In fact, we believe food's a great metaphor for community. So we hope you will try these recipes out at home and uh, make that dining room table a sacred place and a sacred time once again. Well, let me tell you a little bit about these Chinese donuts that we're making. Here's what's gonna be in them. Joyce? We're gonna have four cups of all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, three teaspoons of baking powder, a third cup cold unsalted, unsalted butter cubed, one and a half cups whole milk. We need some vegetable oil for frying and granulated sugar for coating them when we're all done. All right, well, let's get started making our dough. So we have our flour in here to that we're gonna add our sugar, our salt, our baking powder. And I wanna mix that around before I add our butter. And you can do this in a stand mixer, or you're gonna make it by hand like I am, I'm a traditionalist. We have a stand mixer, but more times than not, I like to know how this dough's gonna feel. And in some ways, this is really nothing more than a Chinese biscuit. You could also do it in a food processor. There you go, food processor. So we're just adding our cold butter. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up a little bit. This is just a special Alaskan knife that they use to do a lot of different things. I like to use it as a pasta knife or a dough knife, mostly because we don't really have any whales around here that I have to cut whale blubber off of. It works really well for this. Just chop your butter up. All right. I think I have that all well incorporated. I'm going to go ahead and add our milk. And then I'm going to go ahead and stir this in until we make a nice dough ball here. And this very similar to how I would do my buttermilk biscuits in a lot of ways. If you've ever seen me do that recipe, this will look familiar to you. I'm going to flour up my hands. Flour up our board. We're going to pull all this dough together and then we're going to turn it out. There we go. So we're going to bring all that together. Now you could cheat, but it won't taste as good. You literally could take those canned biscuits that you buy at the store 
and use those to make these. And so you'd skip all this process, but those biscuits aren't nearly as good as these are. Okay, move some of that excess dough out of there. And we're gonna cut those with a small tin can. It's one of those, I like to use the tomato paste can. It's two inches in diameter. Or a tomato paste can. <laughs> that works just as well. So we've got that rolled out to about a half inch thickness. And all we want to do is we want to push straight down with our can. Take this extra dough, pull it together, finish making these. That is my oil telling me it's ready to cook. We have some vegetable oil back there at 375 degrees. And so we're going to deep fry these for about two minutes per side. And then we're going to take them out and we're going to let them drain on some paper towels. And then we're going to roll them in some granulated sugar. We'll show you what that looks like here in just a few minutes. Okay, we ended up deep frying our Chinese donuts for about four minutes. Two minutes on one side, flipped them over, let them finish cooking. They puffed up. And then we put those down in a bowl of sugar and just toss those around. Joyce, have you got that? Mm -hmm. Looking pretty good there on camera. She says to do this. There we go. All right, so let's try one of these out. Mm. Delicious. Crunchy on the outside. Hot and soft on the inside. All that sugar. Great little dessert. Mm. Go out and get this recipe out on our uh, website, powderfamesauces.com. When you make it, and I know you will, put it out on our Facebook page as well, okay? The Pastor's Pantry on Facebook. And then check out this video later. We'll be posting it uh, out on our YouTube channel along with a whole lot of other great recipes. We have a brand new YouTube channel called The Pastor's Pantry Cooking. So it's actually The Pastor's Pantry dash St. Peter's. So check that out. We're doing a special contest. Um, out of the first 100 subscribers, we are going to give away 10 prizes to 10 lucky winners. Uh, so go out there and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bless cooking, y'all.